Hello everybody. Today I am going to take you on a virtual tour of my woodland wildflower garden. Let's get going. These plants are all shade tolerant and semi shade tolerant. This is columbine. This is the first year I've had a really good showing with the columbine. Very nice flower. Uh, good for hummingbirds. I don't want to waste too much time, so we'll get moving here. Or Columbine. This is one I've had for a long time, but this is the first time it's flowered. The common name is Shooting Star. Unusual flowers. Just by looking at the flowers, I can guess that this is probably a member of the Nightshade family. Very similar looking flowers to uh, tomatoes and other nightshades. I'm assuming that I could be wrong. Jack in the pulpit, probably the most unusual flower in my garden. One of the stars of the show. Well, let's get to this one first. Yellow violet is a common name for this one. It's past its peak. But uh, for a little compact plant, it's pretty cool. I've said it before, I prefer unusual plants to pretty plants. Flowers, that is. Star of the show, large flowered trillium. Had a really good showing of these this year. I'm, t I'm making this video now because we're expecting a storm and usually these plants don't look that good after a storm. So, Virginia bluebells. More Virginia bluebells. Another trillium. The trilliums turn pink when they start to fade. Here's a cluster of Canada violets. I acquired these last year. They were growing in my neighbor's yard in his grass and I asked him if I could dig them up and bring them over here and this is what I got this year. They look really nice. There's another trillium. You can see the pink hue. Yeah, that pink wasn't there yesterday. This plant, even though there's a whole bunch of stems coming out, this is one plant and it's about 20 years old from seed. More bluebells give you a chance to see them up close. I've been working on this garden for 13 years. It's very, very slow going. But these plants are all native to Minnesota mostly. And this is the nodding trillium. The flowers dip down underneath the leaves. And it makes you wonder what they're trying to attract by doing that. It's an unusual plant. Like I say, I like unusual as opposed to beautiful. More trillium. Celandine poppy, not native to Minnesota, but the natural border is just on the other side of Minnesota, on the other side of the St. Croix River in Wisconsin. So I was able to justify it to myself that, given enough time, this would actually be a native to Minnesota. I've got a lot of these ferns, ostrich fern. Uh, this is a new section. I say new, but I've already been working on it for about three years. Uh, new section of my garden, though. 
this is the there's stuff in here <clears throat> in here but it's kind of boring because I had a lady who butts up next to me in my backyard here and she likes digging plants and I saw her getting too close to, for comfort one day this is probably about three four years ago and I decided the hell with this I'm moving all my good plants way up by my house hello violets woodland wildflower gardens are all about subtlety if you're looking for a spectacular garden this is not where you will find it there's a lot of other stuff in here but the, it's either passed or hasn't flowered yet I'm basically just showing you the highlights of the flowers that I have right now and these are all about a month early normally it would take this is about a month sooner than you would actually see these. The large flowered trilliums are my prize though. This one's called Toad Shade. I, uh, I forget, this red trillium of some sort. Uh, this tulip, I didn't plant this. Uh, it was here when I moved in. I think what happened was somebody threw a old bulb back here and for thir well for about 10 years this thing grew and I just let it grow. I knew what it was and I didn't really care about it. And I finally flowered last year once one flower and now it's got two flowers and what the heck since it's since it was here when I moved in I just left it. But I'm trying to recreate a native plant community to Minnesota in this garden. Here's another section of my garden. Uh, ostrich ferns. Uh, there's a person who moved away a few doors down from me and they left a whole bunch of these ferns behind. And I took them. <laughs> And this is what they look like about six years later. Nice, nice and big. There's a lot more coming in this garden, but this is what it looks like right now. And here I will leave you with one last look at the columbine, the one that I started out with. This is what they can look like. They're very nice. This one's the prize right now, it looks the best. These could tolerate full sun to complete shade. Well anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.